Hey yo, welcome to my channel. I am She Bang Beats. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I post a video. And also leave me a comment on what it is you like, what it is you wanna see. If you have any questions, I'm here for you. Like the shirt says, let's be friends. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know you didn't. I'll just wait for a second. Oh, you, you done hitting that? You done subscribing? Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So today I am going to be showing you how to make an orchestral, you know, one of those big sounding hard hitting beats and put you in the mind of Southside or Pyrex, you know. So let's get into the video. Okay, so we're in Logic. Um, I have my screen record going. I want. I already made the beat. This is a little different, yes. But I want to. I want to walk you all through how I made this beat, and it came out fire. <laughs> but that's only if you ask me. So, um, first thing. Matter of fact, let's. We're gonna mute everything, and then we're gonna go through it step by step. Oh, and I have the color. It just shows you like intro hook, verse, hook, verse, hook, outro. Okay, so the first thing I did was I added this string right here from Nexus. And that's all. So on there, I added some vocoder, vinyl three. I think I turned the wobble up a little bit um then i added some cymatics um their space which is this is actually the free version of their plugin it's like a reverb but it does like um i think it has like flanger phaser and all of that type of stuff on there but it is a i use it as a reverb then i eq'd some of the low end out um because i still wanted that bottom of the stream but i didn't want it to clash too much with the 808 so Matter of fact, I'm gonna take a little bit more out of there. But, and then I raised the highs up and then took some of the high highs. Or well, I should say I raised the mid highs up or high mids. Y'all know what I mean. And then took some of, took some, um, of the, the highs out. And also I added the S1 imager just to spread it out a little bit. Um, so it won't just sit directly in the middle. And you know, with it being a lower instrument, our kicks and our 808 sit in the middle. We don't want that to clash. I also added a compressor. I'm compressing pretty hard. Um, the ratio is up to 12. The attack is at 3.5. Threshold is 10.5. Um, and a release um, is kind of long too, which is 150, but I like the way it sounds. And you get this. It sounds triumphant. <laughs> so this is the bell that I added from Pigments. I added some RC20 to there, but I, I'm using the Strange Space preset. I added some I th a Finisher Micro. This is a free plugin also. I added big the Big Hair preset and I turned it up almost to the max, probably about three quarters of the way or so. A little bit more than three quarters. Let me, I kind of want to let you hear what this actually does to the sound. So that's what this is with it on. And then this is with it off. It gives it like a more spacey sound when it's on. This is called Fracture. I added this on here. This is also a free plugin and I use the ambient guitarist preset. So I'm going to let you hear how that sounds with and without. So without with so it adds a little glitch distortion type sound to it nothing too major i also add effectrix um i added some uh reverse in certain spots you can hear that in here let's 
So that's a Factrix. You know what? And I didn't even add an EQ to this, but I'm going to add one. I'm just going to cut out the low ends because I actually like how it sounds. I just, I just always like to clean up the, the, low, the low end. Let me show you how these sound together. It's a choir that I got from RK. Well, I ain't going to say it's a choir. It's just a vocal that I got from um from rk out of the distant sound added some channel eq of course i filled it out the lows and the highs and left these nice little mids and high mids in there um and then I, of course i added some um the finisher micro again too but i used the comb filter i'm going to let you hear it with the comb filter with and without it without with it just makes it more ambient to me, you know, where it's not like the main focus of the beat, but it's still important. Okay, and this sound is out of Arcade uh, Poseidon. I added, of course, my EQ, filtered out some lows. It really didn't have that many lows in there like that. You know, I could have went higher. Um, I added some of these uh, high, high mids. And then I took out some of the, the higher frequencies. And I added this, which is called Pancake, which is also another free plugin. Um, and what it does is it phases back and forth here. I'm going to play it without and with. It kind of pans back and forth from left to right which gives the beat some movement and it's not just so stagnant and it's again ear candy oh and i did add a compressor on here um i think it's pretty much the same as the strings the first set of strings this is like a nice little that's a nice little sample that i found in arcade I added some Effectrix on there, some Phaser. I added Channel EQ, took out some of those highs. And I also added the mic or finish, Finisher Micro. And I, add, I used the Comb Filter preset. This is how it sounds without it. And this is how it sounds with it. So y'all can hear what it sounds. And I used it as like going into the verse. Have the piano out of Lexus cinematic piano but on the piano let me let you hear it again let me show you this also so like on certain notes I made it stutter I use the pancake plug-in I use the swoosh um, preset I did some channel EQ off the really highs and the lows I added some compression on here too. I took the ratio down on this and I think I lowered the threshold also. This is just some texture, filling that background to give it some movement. And it's just, it's sweet to the ears. Not that it plays like a huge major role or anything, but it just fills in that background space where it doesn't sound so empty. It sounds really full and cinematic. I filtered out some low end. And again, I added the, the finisher micro, but I used the flanger preset. And I didn't even recognize it in the background, but you can feel it. It's more of a feel thing than it is an audible thing. Basic 808. EQ. One thing I do want to say is when you EQ in your 808s, especially like, I mean, in any DAW, but because I'm working in Logic, this is what I do. I take, I go to my channel EQ. So when you go to this little corner, you click that and you go to your EQ, go to dual mono. That way, even when you bring your sample in, and let me show you, in the quick, quick sampler, I like to change that poly polyphony to mono because you want your kicks and your 808s to hit right in the middle. And then... On your channel EQ, you want to go to dual mono. You'll get something that, it'll, it'll actually say L and R, which is left and right. You want to go to your little settings uh, circle right here and go to mid side. 
and that way you can control the mids and the sides. So the side, I'll turn all the way down because we don't want our kicks and 808s panning and going left to right and all of that type of stuff. We want it to hit right in the middle. We are only EQing the middle. We took all of the sides out. And I just, it's kind of like a, I double do it because it's already in, in mono, but it just makes me feel better. But so I took some of this low end out, the extreme low end where it's really just rumble and you know, it's not really necessary. It kind of makes everything muddy and dirty. And then I took off some of the high end cause we don't need that. That's it's an 808. So we don't need high end. I also added duck out. Duck out is from um, Adam at I am music mogul. And I took this and side chain the act, the, my kick to it because when my 808 hits, I need it to duck so that kick can come through and you can get that thump, but yet you're still getting that, that hard hitting 808. Oh, and I do the same thing with my kick, my, as far as the EQ and goes, I do the same thing to my kick with dual mono. I make sure everything is in, I make sure it's all in mono. You see my polyphony is in mono and then my EQ, I have my side mid, I turn my, my side all the way down and on the EQ and you know, I'm working with my mids. And on the kick, I do take out a little bit more of that rumbling low end because the 808 is making up for that. And I don't need this high end. I didn't cut too much because kicks do have some high end in it. And you don't want to cut that and it sounds trash. But you hear the kick and 808 together. I just added some EQ, cut the low end off, and I added some reverb. Um, I did the same thing I, on my snare, so this is how they sound together. And I also have like a rim, and I and basically did the same thing on all of those. Um, I have, we go to the hi-hat section. I have two different hi-hats. This is the first one. It sounds crazy by itself, but it sounds fire in the beat. All I did was add effectors. I didn't even EQ this, which is crazy. But, but I think I didn't EQ it because I did like the pitch bending and I changed the, the pitch, pitch of the notes and, you know, all of that good stuff. So, you know, it gives us some movement. And all, remember, change your velocities in your hi-hats. It, it gives the beat so much more flavor, like effectrics to this. Um, this is the only thing that I add. So it's some reverse and some scratch or stretch. I added some pancake to the second hi-hat. I'm going to let you hear the second hi-hat alone. I pitched this one and I, uh, pitched this one and I changed the velocities. The velocities really, really help with giving you that bounce and giving you that movement. And then this is just a percussion nothing fancy. Click, click, okay. <laughs> and then I added the open hi-hat. So that's that together. Added a crash. And then I added like a, um, like a vocal riser. And then of course, she Oh, you know what? Let me take you to my, uh, I guess it's the master bus um, before I play you all the beat. Literally on my master bus, all I have is an EQ, took out some, some low end, uh, boosted the highs a little bit. If you want to, you can pause this and copy the settings. But this is something that I just, it's like a clipper. Like, you know how they have like the, the fruity limiter in, uh, in FL? Well, this is kind of like that and it boosts, you know, it gets everything to knocking hard and being cohesive. Oh, and I forgot to show y'all. So I so I bust all of my instrument, all of like the the entire loop. I took all of that and bust it to this instrument bus, this aux this aux right here, and I added some EQ. I took out some of these mids because we don't want it muddy. Took out some of them lows, and I boost the highs a little bit, not too much because. 
I added this Fresh Air plugin, which is also another free uh, plugin. And I added some mid air and some high air. I'm gonna play, actually play this for you all so you can hear what it does. So this is with it off. On. Off. On. See, it kind of brightens it up. And you can, you can work with the mid air and the high air. You, and be careful with this plugin because you can't overdo it for sure. That's all there is. And I am going to play the final beat for you all now. Did you like it? Did you like it? You did? Well, I thank you. So I know you subscribe, right? And you hit that like, right? And you left the comment, right? And you turned your post notification on, right? And you shared this, right? And you told your friends and your mama and them to subscribe, right? I know you did because we're friends. Thank you all for stopping by. Thank you all for listening to the beat. I really hope you enjoyed it. There will be another video coming soon. So stay tuned for that. And please leave suggestions on what it is you want to hear. And yeah, so that's it, right? We're out, right? I'm hot. This light is hot. And also make sure you uh, follow all of my social media and all of that good stuff. Yeah, be bang. I am out of here.